I'm not, I'm not buying that one. Uh, you, you're up 29, nothing at half to a yeah. team like Stanford. You, if you're, if you're everything I've been told you win that game. And uh, if you know, Matt, I don't, I don't want to you know, bring the wrath of uh, some of your highest paid talent on ESPN on me, but the, the biggest loser of the weekend was Deion Sanders. No question. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I know it's you know, verboten to, uh, to talk about it, but uh, I mean, that was inexcusable. And, you know, his, his party's over. Uh, he, 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 he took a hit and, you know, I'm not really that fascinated by Colorado after that. Yeah. You look at their schedule, the next, the only winnable game based on the schedule is Arizona who just beat Washington state. I mean, you're looking at now Colorado four and eight. I mean, the, the team that was ranked in the top 15 or top 20 and that yeah, we, got all the yeah, national we, You know, I, I'm, I'm sure uh, Shannon Sharp will probably come after us. <laughs> say, yeah. You guys don't know. You don't know what it's like being on the sideline. No, I don't. I haven't been invited. Uh, so, but <laughs> but you know what? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm moving on from Coach Prime's late night show. And we are moving on from week seven of the college football season. So much to get to, including next week. I'm excited for next Sunday. You've got Penn State, Ohio State. You've got Alabama, Tennessee. You've got some really good games that are going to start shape and shifting uh, the college football playoff picture. Give me something. I can't feel.